it was yesterday, I think I was talking about how fat is stored in fat cells, and I forgot to give my favorite analogy to think of this, which is the idea of a jail cell. So a fat cell is like a jail cell for fat. The fat in your body is inside of these fat cells, and it doesn't come out unless certain things happen. If you think of a jail cell, a jail cell has bars, and bars keep the bad people inside of the, the jail cell because they can't slide through. Now, if the people got really, really skinny, they could just wiggle through the bars and get right out of the jail cell. Well, so this is how body fat works. With fat inside of fat cells, it's in the form of a triglyceride. Tri means three. You have three strands of fat, three lipids, that are then bound together by a molecule of glycerol. So they're tight on that molecule of glycerol, and when they're that size, they cannot fit through the fat cells. Like there's bars in the jail cell that they cannot get through. And what happens is there's a molecule, um, or actually a, a substance, called hormone-sensitive lipase. And what this does is it takes those fats and separates them from the glycerol so that now they are free fatty acids. And what do free fatty acids do? Well, just like the name sounds, they go free. They slide right out of the fat cell, and then your body can use them for energy. Uh, now, in your body, it's not like Monopoly, where you can get a get-out-of-jail-free card. It's not a card that's used, but it's this hormone-sensitive lipase that triggers that. That comes from, uh, well, what you can control to make that happen is high-intensity exercise exertion. Uh, which does two things to trigger hormone-sensitive lipase. It, again, it lowers your insulin levels and it increases levels of epinephrine. Both of those things increase hormone-sensitive lipase, as I mentioned yesterday. But I think a cool way to think of it is you've got this fat, these prisoners in a jail cell, in a fat cell, and uh, you know, maybe you think of it as bad fat, so it's in, imprisoned there. But the thing is, you're never going to get that out without something like hormone-sensitive lipase freeing up the fatty acids, so you have free fatty acids that can rush out, then you can use it for energy. Uh, so hope that helps you to understand how to think of fat inside of the fat cells of your body and an understanding of how to free it to be used, and then you can lower your body fat.